Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So yes, if you are now preparing or going to appear for KSA 2025 examination, you are at the right place. In today's video, we will be discussing the detailed syllabus for chemistry for KSA 2025 examination. So first of all, we will be discussing about the different chapters that is present from first PU and second PU for your uh, KSA 2025 examination. So there are a lot of confusions about deleted chapters and also we will discuss all that in detail so that you will get full clarity what chapters you have to study for your KSA 2025 examination. Second most important thing we will be discussing the chapter wise weightage okay. So we have done a detailed analysis of last six years okay. So from which chapter how many questions have been come. So this will help you to understand the important topics that you have to put more focus to get a very good score in chemistry in KSA examination okay. So yes Take a notebook and sit down so that you can mark the important chapters. You can note down the number of questions that have been asked in the previous years from these chapters. Okay. And you can also prepare a list of the chapters that you need to study. Okay. So very important video. Please watch completely so that you don't have any doubt regarding the chemistry syllabus of KSA 2025 examination. Let's get started. Okay. First is the chapter list. Okay. Very simple one. We'll just discuss the name of the chapters that is there from PU1 and PU2. So the first chapter is some basic concepts of chemistry, second structure of atom, third classification of elements and periodicity, fourth chemical bonding and molecular structure, fifth thermodynamics, sixth equilibrium, seventh redox reaction, eighth organic chemistry, some basic principles and techniques and ninth is hydrocarbon. So what you have to put here from PU1, okay, there are nine chapters. Coming to chemistry PU2. Okay, here the first chapter solutions, second electrochemistry, third kinetics. So these three are from your physical chemistry, you can say. Next is uh, fourth one DNF block, fifth one is coordination compounds from inorganic com uh, chemistry. Next you have haloalkins and haloarenes, alcohols, phenols and ethers, aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids, amines and biomolecules. So these topics or these are from your organic chemistry okay so if we divide three chapters are in physical two in inorganic and you have five chapters in uh, organic so if you add this total we have 10 chapters in pu2 and you have pu1 that is nine chapters okay so total i can say total chapters are 19 okay so 19 chapters are there in chemistry so now before you think that okay you have to study 19 chapters for KSA 2025 examination and you have already almost forgotten these concepts from these 9 chapters because you studied it in the last year. So let me tell you you need not worry at all. From the, the majority of the questions are being asked from these 10 chapters okay which is there in your PU2. We will see that in the weightage uh, analysis. So that is why you need not worry. What I want to suggest you is focus, com give complete focus in your 12th syllabus okay in your PU2. Whatever chapters you are studying study it very clearly understand all the concepts do proper revision so that you don't find any difficulty in the uh, exam time okay. Now we are going to very something very very important that is chapter wise weightage okay. So here is something that you should note down and you should not only watch this here you have to put some pen and paper work also. So what you have to do is I will be telling you I will be telling you like which chapters are very high weighted so you have to note down these chapters name and while uh, like if these chapters are already done your, uh, in your school or coaching revise them again if it is not done and it is about to be done in your class pay 100% attention in these chapters okay. So first one is some basic concepts of chemistry. So if you see here this chapter has very like one or two questions are asked in the last six years. Now you might think this is a very low weighted topic but yes this chapter has something very important that is mole concept right. So mole concept is one of the concept which is used almost in every chapter of chemistry right. So without understanding mole concept if you go forward you will get stuck in different chapters. So that is why even though this is a very low weightage topic it is my sincere advice to all of you to give 100 to give more uh, attention to give more focus on these topic and clear your mole concept okay. 
Coming to the second chapter that is structure of atom, you can say only one one questions in the last six years, very easy to score. So, here we have to be little calculative and we have to just revise important formulas. Okay? So, this chapter is also something that you must revise some uh, 7 to 8 formulas if you revise you can get good marks in this chapter also. Coming to classification of elements and periodicity in properties very small and easy chapter you can see very almost one question one to three questions have been asked this is one special year where you got three questions but almost it is like one question you will be getting from this topic. Now, chemical bonding and molecular structure which is a very important topic here you can see a high weightage like for example, 1 to 3 questions you can expect from this chapter. Okay? So, yes this is important and it is not a small chapter okay? it is a very big chapter but the interesting and the better a good thing for you is that the question does not come from the whole chapter there are certain portions in this chapter from which from where the questions are picked up every year. So, if we know those particular areas we can revise that and still we can solve all the questions of this chapter. Is not it very good for you all of you? Now, coming to state of matter, if you see state of matter, this year one question have been asked and the previous I can say average of 1 to 2 chapters are there, but the good news here is this chapter is deleted. Okay? Then you might ask ma'am how they asked in 2024, yes this question was asked, but the questions that were asked from out of the syllabus chapters, these questions were dis discarded, okay? they were not considered for evaluation. So, you can like 100% uh, you can trust and you can study only those chapters which are there in the syllabus, there is no need to touch the deleted chapters. Okay? So, do not go for deleted chapters at all. Now, coming to your, if you see thermodynamics, you can see one question every year has been asked, again this is also a very big chapter I will tell you. But again this is some formulas if you know you can solve these questions. Now, coming to equilibrium which consists of both chemical and ionic equilibrium. This is also a big chapter and you can expect 1 to 2 questions from here. So, yes this chapter will take time, but chemical equilibrium part is very easy that can be done. So, you must at least finish the chemical equilibrium, but now, now it is August month right, you have almost 8 to 9 months for this exam. So, definitely you should not leave anything. So, you have to prepare the preparation right now. So, that is why I was telling you to give uh, like full attention to your 12th syllabus so that later you will have some buffer time to revise these 11 chapters. Okay? Now, coming to redox reaction, okay? last year there was no question and you can almost expect 1 to 2 questions uh, from this chapter, easy one. Okay? Now, coming to these topics, see hydrogen there was no question last year, S block elements no question last year and on average 1 to 2 here 1 question, P block elements we got 3 questions last year right. So, but P block element very difficult chapter so many things to remember, but the good news is this chapters are deleted. Okay? So, S block, S block, P block and hydrogen you need not study. Now, coming to the next chapter that is organic chemistry some basic principles and techniques. So, if you see you can almost expect one question from this topic, but again this is your basic fundamental chapter for organic chemistry, fundamental chapter, this one and the hydrocarbons. Okay? These two are very basic chapters even though they do not have more weightage, but if you do not understand these things like what is electrophile, what is nucleophile, what is um, addition reaction, substitution reaction, then these things if you do not understand later when you study the important chapters of organic chemistry in class 12th, you will face a lot of difficulties. Okay? So, that is why also you should clear your concept from these chapters, okay? the important concepts. Now, hydrocarbons is also you can see 3 questions have been asked. So, almost 1, 2, 3 questions can be asked from these chapters. Okay? This is also important one. Now, okay, environmental chemistry here a uh, small, uh, small correction this question like one last year it was asked one question like this year 2024 one question and almost no questions have been asked in these three is very low weightage topic and also this topic is deleted. Okay? I did not highlight it, but you can remember this topic is deleted. Okay? So, no need to waste your time in these topics. Now, we are done with PU1. So, PU1 what is the conclusion that you can draw what you have to note down, which chapters you have to focus, some basic concepts of chemistry, chemical bonding and organic principles some base organic chemistry some basic principles and techniques. These are the topics that you should not leave why because these are the topics which will help you to understand the rest of the chemistry. Okay? So, must do topics and then 
next coming to pu2 okay so pu2 the first chapter that is solid state okay here if you see 2 3 4 very high weightage topic 2 to 4 questions you can expect but again a good news here this chapter is deleted from your syllabus coming to the second one okay here again you might have doubt why this in 2024 two questions were asked yes these two questions were there but later these two questions were discarded and not evaluated okay now coming to solutions chapter so if you see Solutions chapter, you see 5 questions, 3 questions, 5, 4, 2, 3, very high weightage top, topic, you can get easily 3 to 5 questions, a must do topic, okay, must do topic, you should not leave this topic. Next coming to electrochemistry, again 2, 3, 4, 3, 3, 3, so I can say from 2 to 4 questions, we can expect again a very high weightage topic, must do topic. Generally, students find very difficult with electrochemistry because of its complex formulas. But trust me, if you understand the concepts, it is very easy to apply them. Direct questions have been asked from this chapter. Now, coming to chemical kinetics, you can see 3, 3, 4, 4, 3, 3 in the last 6 years. So, I can say an average of 3 to 4 questions, easy one, easy and very scoring topic. Okay. Now, coming to these topics. Okay. So, if you see surface chemistry this year two questions were asked general principles and isolations two chemistry group uh, p block three questions right but all these questions were discarded and you need not waste your time on these topics okay now coming to dnf block so four questions four questions three two so i can say two to four questions you can expect from this chapter so general these topics are a little bit interrelated like color magnetic moment configuration so these are little interrelated so you can put it in either of the topics in coordination compounds two four three so again we can say two to four questions can be asked very easy and scoring topics okay there is nothing to be calculating just little theory based chapters you need to memorize certain things okay now coming to the most the bulk part okay you have remember in 10 out of 10 chapters 50 percent of the chapters are organic chemistry right so a lot of questions will be asked from organic chemistry so it is very very important that from your pu2 you have to give more time more in like more uh, work you have to do more efforts you have to put for the organic chemistry okay now if you see haloalkins and haloarenes okay for that if you see from the last six years you can expect easily two to four questions okay important one important topic definitely alcohols phenols and ethers you can expect again two to four questions okay very very important topic aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acid up to six questions was also asked some year right so still we can take an average of two to four questions amines is a small chapter but again a high weightage topic from two to three biomolecules okay this is a very scoring topic so certain few facts you should remember about the biomolecules about carbohydrates proteins then you have nucleic acids very quick facts if you know then it is very easy to score in this chapter and this is this chapter you must not forget okay i know little it is theoretical for those uh, like who are not from uh, biology background but yes if you give little effort and little time for this chapter definitely you can understand this now coming to the next two chapters again we have good news here for polymers this year two questions were asked again they were not calculated or evaluated chemistry in everyday life so these two chapters need not be studied now last if you see total so all the questions were asked that is 60 questions all of you know from chemistry will have 60 questions yes so now we have discussed the pu1 chapters which are there and pu2 chapters that are there for your case 2025 examination we also saw the chapter wise weightage and from that we can conclude one important thing that is pu2 chapters are very 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 important for your case 2025 examination so you cannot afford to skip them right so now when you are already in 12th class you are studying for this so give proper time proper uh, like utilization of these time and understand the concepts properly so that later whatever buffer time is there you can use it to revise the pu1 concept okay that is a simple suggestion from my side and yes we are going to start so many videos for your case 2025 preparation will be coming with a strategy video for chemistry i'll be coming with a detailed book list okay how you should follow which books how to study at what time you should study these books everything will be done in this channel so yes please like share and subscribe this channel for more updates